Hello guys, welcome to the third video tutorial on Python programming for beginners and in this video I'm going to show you how to use variables in Python. So I'm assuming that you don't have any prior programming knowledge so uh, I'm going to uh, tell you the basics of variables first. So basically uh, what is a variable? Variable is a container for some value. This value can be an integer, it, this value can be a string of words, this ca value can be a float value or different kind of values. So what is a variable? Variable is a container for uh, the values. So for example, how you can declare variable in Python? First of all, you need to give a name of the variable. So for example, I can declare a name of a variable like my variable is equal to and this is equal to sign you use between the value and the name of the variable. Okay, so this is the name of the variable is equal to you can assign some value to the variable for example 30. Now my variable has the value of 30. So my variable is a container for the value 30, right? And generally it's the convention that whenever you use or declare a variable, it's not necessary but it's a good programming habit that you uh, separate your uh, variable name. If you have uh, something like my variable, the first word of your variable name starts from small letter and then the second word first letter starts from big or a capital case and the other letters are small and this way it will work like for example I want to give the variable name equal to my variable name it will be like this okay so it, it's like camel case it's called a camel case uh, declaration so start with small letter and then the second letter uh, second word first letter is the capital third word first letter is the capital just like this okay so just follow the convention like this it's not necessary but it's good now when i press enter now my variable has the value of 30 so once again when i uh, call my variable and press enter it gives me 30 because my variable is equal to 30 now now python is a case sensitive language so if you write my with a capital m variable and press enter it will give you an error because this variable name is different from this variable name because this is case sensitive so just remember this okay so these are the two things now why we exactly use variable in any programming language so variables are generally used uh, whenever you don't know what values you are going to deal with so for example you are going to deal with uh, some values which are inputted by the users now first of all uh, this variable you can use it as for example for adding something so I can just call my variable plus so plus 34 and it will give me the result uh, yeah this is you see I haven't spelled this my variable correct so it gives me an error okay so my variable plus 34 and it gives me 64 okay so now you can perform math operation using this variable also okay now the real use of this variable you can uh, you, you can perform every math operation on this variable because it has some value which is an integer right 
so you can do a variable to the power or exponent uh, 3 it gives the answer and in the same way it will give you an answer for every uh, math operation now the real use let's see some uh, use for variable so for example I declare a variable called uh, value okay and this value is equal to whatever user inputs from uh, the user uh, input okay so how you can provide a user input in python you just use the inbuilt function called input so this is an inbuilt function in uh, uh, python which will allow you to enter any value so you can just write enter the value but there is a problem with uh, this that this input whatever user enters will be a string okay so let me give you an example when i press enter now it gives me the prompt that enter the value and i can enter any value for example 50 and press enter and now this value which is a variable value has the value of 50 so whenever i call value it has the value of 50 but notice this value is a string it's uh, between the, this single quotes so whenever I want to uh, perform some addition so value plus something 20 it will give me an error see it gives me an error why it's giving me an error because this value which is 50 is a string because whenever we use input function to input value it takes this value as a string okay and whenever you see something in single code that means it's a string whenever you have the single quotes around your value it's a string okay now in order to convert your uh, string to an integer you can cast uh, the string so I go, I'm going to just copy this just you can just copy then this and paste it here and in order to cast this value to an integer what you do just go with before your input so value is equal to just write int so this is type casting of string to the integer okay and just close it from here okay so when you do this this uh, will be your string so uh, input will be taken as a string and this int will convert your string to the integer okay and now when you press enter and you give some value for example 60 value is equal to 60 and now you call value not well but value it has the value of 60 and notice that earlier this 50 is uh, enclosed in single quotes but this time it's not enclosed in single quotes that means it's a number right now I can perform some math operation on this like this value plus uh, 50 multiplied by 60 something it will not give me an error this time so always remember whenever you want an integer as an input you need to cast this into the integer and casting means to convert your string to the integer you can cast this to the float value like this for example you can just copy this once again paste it here and you can cast this like uh, float so float is a decimal point value okay so you can cast your value as a float and now when you enter you can just try 50 point one three four whatever and then call value and it has the value of 50 point whatever okay so variables are useful whenever you don't know what values you are going to deal with okay 
so that's all about variables i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now